all in. Let's join Julian. Yes, all in for the Water of Crystal Mar. White flag goes up, under orders and off, and very fast away. The, in fact, the pacemaker is left, would you believe? And uh, the first to show is Moore Style, who jumps off sensationally in the lead. And the pacemaker, Bonnie Charlie, is last. And it's Moore Style who leads from Togorimu on the inside of Last Fandanga. Then Milk of the Barley and another realm. And the pacemaker, Bonnie Charlie, can't get to them, although he's chasing them up now. And it's Lester dictating it on Moore Style. These certainly not the tactics we expected. Lester Pickard on Moore Style by a length and a half from Last Fandango second. Bonnie Charlie now going up on the outside in third. Then Togorimu and Milk of the Barley on another realm. And they're really motoring as they swing right-handed four and a half furlongs to go more style Togorimu on the inside last fandango coming up on the outside is bonnie charlie then another roam going coastal in milk of the barley as they race down the hill and towards the halfway point more style still Gravel Stark is on his shoulder now on Togori Mu. Behind them another realm and Last Fandango on the outside. And these four are clear of the rest as they pass the three furlong marker. Still more style, but he's being joined now by Gravel Starkey looking cosily on Togori Mu. On the outside is Last Fandango. Behind the lead is another realm coming with a run. And now at the two furlong marker, it's Togori Mu who storms into the lead. More style looks beaten. Last Fandango's got nothing more to give. And here comes the local hero, Togorimu, going two, three lengths clear from Morsau. Morsau's running on again, but Togorimu looks to have got this turn up. Morsau's fighting back inside the final column, but it's Togorimu by two lengths from Morsau, challenging again under Lester Beggar. And Morsau's coming back at him, but at the line is Togorimu by half a length from Morsau in second. Third with another realm, and then Los Fandango, and then Milk of the Barley, and Bonnie Charlie. So, a sensational race for the Waterford Crystal Mile, with a win for number four, Turgori Mu, owned by Mrs. Andrew Muinos, trained by Guy Harwood, and ridden by Greville Starkey. Second number one, Moore Style, owned by Moore's International Furnishings Limited, trained by Robert Armstrong, and ridden by Lester Beckett. And third, number five, another realm, owned by Mrs. Dougie Goldstein, trained by Frank Durr and ridden by Joe Mercer. Fourth number two, Last Fandango. Well, this was really a race of surprises because none of us, I think, expected more style, the sprinter, to go off in front, but he did so. And when he was headed by Togorimu, one would have supposed that that was it, but that was far from the case. Two furlongs out, Togorimu struck for home, and it looked to say he'd go clear. There's more style on the rails coming under pressure from Lester Piggott. Greville Starkey at this point says go. He quickly goes two lengths clear and looked as though the race was over. But no, Lester Pickard pulls more style off the rails and Togori Mu, having been in front for a couple of furlongs, either started to idle, perhaps came to the end of his tether, and indeed, perhaps Lester managed to get another run out of more style. Perhaps he enabled him to quicken again. In fact, he certainly did, because although Togori Mu wasn't going to quicken again, Greville has never for a moment stopped riding him. He's never eased up at all. And Lester, having his pulled his stick through to his left hand, gets a terrific and courageous counter-challenge out of Morstown, who's coming back as the winner at the line. But it was too late. At the line, Togorimu still has half a length to spare from Morstown second. Another realm.